The, the thing is, I just love to cook. That, I love, well, let me back up. I love to eat. That's what I love to do. So if it means learning to cook, I'm willing to do it. Yeah, I just want to share just uh, some words of encouragement. And uh, for the graduates and, and for, for those who are, have yet to graduate, graduate. Um, this, this time has just been, is an amazing time, not just a graduation, but love your neighbor, L-I-N, is an amazing, amazing time to be a part of. And it may have been Katie that says it, 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 it changes your life. There's no doubt about that. I want to, what I want to share tonight is, you know, one of the things for me is that I, I love this time of year. I love the, the, just all the wonder and all of the, just the, the, the um, well, we will never fully ever grasp what it means for God himself to come and be born and walk among us. And all that that means, we will never ever fully grasp that. This, this, it may not have looked like this, but this happened. And that changes, that changes everything for us. Everything. Nothing's ever the same because of that. And so I thought being, it's Christmas. It gets dark early. The good thing of that is we get to enjoy Christmas lights that much longer because everyone's turning them on as we drive to where we go. So I thought it appropriate to go ahead and share some verses out of Luke and, uh, and then share out of that with you. So Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. And these are familiar verses. It says that in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. By night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good news of a great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly, heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. And I want to say this, that what those verses speak to me is that you and we have been invited. An invitation has been made to us to come. The days of not being invited the days of not being part of a team, the days of not being selected, the days of not fitting in, it's done. You have been invited, every single one of you. All of us have been invited. The good news is that this great joy is for all the people, for unto you is born a Savior. And this Savior knows you, he has breathed life into you. He has formed and created you. And he has invited you into his kingdom. Yes. Period. He has done that. And all you have to do is come. Man, it goes back to that choice again. All you have to do is come. The beauty of LYN is that you do not have to fit into a certain mold. You do not have to fit into a certain way of acting and being. You are invited to come just as you are. And if there's one thing I've learned in Love Your Neighbor program on Thursday nights, is that when you come just as you are, and you walk into an environment that's filled with love and grace, and understanding and, and acceptance that that's where real change happens. And I want to thank you that you have demonstrated that to me. 
Because there's change that doesn't just need to happen in your life, there's change that needs to happen in my life as well. Because we're all in this together. We do not have life all figured out. We need each other. And I hope that LYN has created a thirst for more because there's so much more. Man, let that thirst, don't let it be quenched. Continue to thirst and never ever forget as a graduate or those who have yet to graduate and are still taking classes, never ever forget that you have been invited just as you are. Listen for his invite. Follow Jesus. It is there that we are transformed. So then these verses go on to, and tell us that in verse 15, when the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go. Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they, and they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning the child. And all who hunt, heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. The thing that stands out to me in those verses is just the invite, is just that it says they went together. Let us go together. Know this truth, that life is meant to be walked out together. We cannot walk it out alone. We need each other. This walk is not is good, and yet it's also hard. There can be disappointments. There will be times that we just do not understand. There will be times that we do have questions. There will be times that we just, man, it is hard to believe. There will be times that we do struggle. And you cannot walk that out by yourself. Don't do it. We need each other to walk it out. This invite to walk it out together. Scripture is full of what that means. Paul writes that we have been, we, we have been inv invited into this family of God. He talks about us as a family. He continues to share scripture about, about the fact that we are this family. He, t he shares these scriptures about that we are this, this household of God. He says that we're being built together to become this dwelling place, to become this temple in which God himself dwells within us. That is amazing to me, that as volunteers, as teachers, as graduates, as those to graduate, we are being formed together. We are the body of Christ. We're being formed into the body of Christ himself. God is joining churches to come together as the body of Christ. This is a walk that we walk together. It is not a walk that we walk alone. And then finally, in verse 20, it says that the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all, for all that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. <laughs> That's probably some of the best news that we'll hear all night, that it was just as they had been told. You guys have learned so much. You have studied so much. You have done all that homework You've shown your homework each and every week. You've worked, <laughs> you've worked hard. Those who are still taking classes, you will continue to do homework. You will continue to work. But you know the hope that we have is that the things that you're learning, that you're going to find them to be just as you have been told. 
that you know what? That you really are a new creation. You are a new creation. And all that that means, he is, he, he is continuing to form and mold you and make you what he wants you to be. Does he ever stop doing that? No. He will continue to do that. You're learning that, he, that you really do have potential. And God has made you so unique he has made you with gifts and talents and purposes that are unique to you alone and only you can carry them out. My prayer and all of our prayers that you find that just as it's been said, it is true. We are children of God. He loves us. And then somehow as parents, he gives us wisdom to go ahead and love and take care of these kids that we hardly understand. And yet called to love just as they are because he loves us just as we are. God is the manager of all things. He does own the cattle on a thousand hills. I don't know if that's scripture or just a song, but it's good. He does. And he can, he can give us wisdom in our finances. The physical bodies that we have, he does want us to take care of them. There's no doubt about that. And our hope and prayer, again, is that each of us, as you graduate, and as we're yet to graduate, that you find out, and that you not just know in your minds, but you know in your heart, and that you experience it, that these promises, that these truths, that these things that you have learned, that you will find them just as you've been told. It is true. And that you walk in all that that foundation means and that you will continue to glorify and praise God. And are there others who need to hear it too? Yes, there are. Be involved in that as well. I have a feeling those shepherds the ones who saw the angels, I don't think they stopped with that group who saw that. I bet they found some other shepherds. Joe needs to hear about this. And God got them and brought them along to see all that this was about. There are others who need to hear and know the promises of God, that it is true. All right. So, walk. Walk in all the joy of that, that that means. And continue to encourage me to do that, and I'll continue to encourage you to do that. So we walk together.